Apa kabar semua? Nama saya Nick. Hari ini saya akan berkongsi tentang hidup saya di Malaysia sebagai Mat Saleh. Saya sudah menetap di Malaysia selama 10 tahun. Bagi saya, Malaysia adalah sebuah negara yang unik. Sangat berbeza dengan negara saya di Belanda. Jum bersama saya ini adalah Global Gibbon. I love living in Malaysia, but as you can see, I am not originally from Malaysia. So in today's video, I'd like to share with you about what it's like to be a foreigner or matsale here in this beautiful country. So, generally people call me either matsale or orang pute. And orang pute literally translates to white man in Malaysian. Initially, this was quite unusual to me and perhaps even a little bit racist. In my country, the Netherlands, it is not common to address someone based on their skin color. But here in Malaysia, it is a fairly common thing and I don't think it's truly racist or at least people are not trying to be racist, so I've gotten used to it. I always get a little bit upset when I visit a national park here in Malaysia because I have to pay double the price of what a local has to pay. I've been living here in Malaysia for the past 10 years, but I still pay the foreigner's price. Not too sure what to think about that, but I'll accept it. <laughs> when I go to rural areas, I get stared at quite a bit. If I travel with my friends or my wife and we're in a small village, they, the people there, they might stare me down the street and they wouldn't do this to my friends or my wife because I just look very different, I guess. So this is definitely one of the more obvious things that I encounter as a foreigner living here in Malaysia. I just got myself a nice cup of coffee before I continue this story and if you like my videos and you want to buy me a cup of coffee, you can do so by clicking on the link in the description to a website called Buy Me A Coffee. And that's all it is, you can just buy me a cup of coffee. Let's move on. So another topic I'd like to talk about is that I might get charged more than let's say my Malaysian wife. My wife and I go to the market occasionally and sometimes my wife asks me to take a few steps away from her so she could buy a product, a vegetable that I might be charged more for. And I believe this is pretty common in other countries as well because some people might consider foreigners or tourists richer and being able to spend more money. But yes, I still encounter that on a regular basis and then usually my wife would do <laughs> the buying. <laughs> Finding a job here in Malaysia as a foreigner is also not easy, especially if you already live in the country. By law, Malaysian companies are required to offer a position to a local Malaysian first before they offer this position to a foreigner. And this company will actually have to put an ad out in the newspaper asking for a local person to fulfill this position. Only then they are legally allowed to hire a foreigner for that job. Additionally, wages are a lot lower here in Malaysia compared to European countries. So finding a job that pays well is not that easy. I always get asked whether I speak Bahasa Malaysia here as, as a foreigner because I've been living here for 10 years so a lot of people always ask me whether I speak Bahasa Malaysia. Now I do understand Bahasa Malaysia quite a bit I believe so whenever my friends are talking in the local language or in Bahasa Malaysia I would understand what they're talking about and I would usually respond in English. Then I sometimes throw in a couple of Bahasa Malaysia words when I talk to a hawker or when I go to the market and when I throw in a few Bahasa words the people are always quite shocked, which is always quite amusing. Now, I live in Kuching, which is a multicultural city here in Sarawak, and all these cultures speak their own languages. There's Iban, Bidayu, Chinese, Malay, Malanao, and so many more languages. So the normal language or the average language spoken here in Kuching or the common language spoken here in Kuching is English. So it's always been very easy for me just to communicate in English with everyone. So as I said, I am from the Netherlands and that means I am 10,000 kilometers away from my parents, my, my family. 
And living in Malaysia as a foreigner means that I do not see my Dutch family very often. The last time I went to the Netherlands was three years ago. So it's always quite tough because we miss each other so much. Yes, I miss them a lot. Now, besides missing my family, I also miss various things that we have in the Netherlands that we might not have here in Malaysia or are difficult to find. Perhaps what I miss the most is the Dutch supermarkets because they have such a wide range of European products and I'm a cheese lover, so I miss the wide variety of cheese available in Dutch supermarkets the most. You might wonder whether it's difficult to make friends here in Malaysia as a foreigner and I would have to say a hard no. It is very easy to make friends here in Malaysia because Malaysians love meeting new people and they're very friendly and open. Most of my friends are local Sarawakian Malaysians and I even have some foreign friends who decided to make Sarawak, Malaysia, their home just like me. As a follow-up, is it perhaps difficult to be part of a Malaysian family and their culture. I am married with a local Malaysian woman. My wife is Malaysian. And again, this would be a hard no. It's not difficult to be a part of a family here. People are so friendly here and my wife's family are so kind. They're really good cooks, so we have delicious dinners. And whenever me and my wife need something, they will always be there. So, it is very easy to be a part of a Malaysian family. Let me tell you about one of the most unusual and shocking experiences I've had here in Malaysia. Many years ago, I started working for a Malaysian company, so of course, I had to set up a Malaysian bank account. And it sounds pretty easy and simple, and most of it was pretty easy and simple. So I had to give my name, I had to give my date of birth, I had to give my passport number, and then they asked me what race I was and what my religion was. So I asked the staff at the banks, like, why do you need to know what race I am or what my religion is? I'm just opening up a bank account. But here in Malaysia, that is the norm. And in the Netherlands, this is not done. You don't ask people what their religion is. I don't think you're even allowed to ask by law. So that is definitely one of the most unusual experiences that I've had here in Malaysia as a foreigner because to me that is not very normal. Another big part of my life here in Malaysia as a foreigner are the long and tedious processes at immigration. To apply for any permit or visa to stay here in Malaysia, there are a lot of processes involved. I need to get a letter from a lawyer, I need to get a certain copy certified, I need to get this stamped and that form signed, and the process itself can take a very long time. A couple years ago, I applied for a work permit while I was living in Mary, and it took about 10 months to approve my permit for a visa of one year, which meant my visa was approved and two months later I had to go through the whole process again for my renewal of that permit. Even though some processes might take a long time and are quite tedious, other processes are pretty easy and simple to do. Years ago when I came to Malaysia I did not have a driving license so I couldn't ride a motorcycle, I couldn't drive a car. So I had to get my driving license here in Malaysia. And the whole process was quite easy. I applied, I just had to prove that I was staying in Malaysia for a longer period of time. So I needed some proof of my permit. I took some classes. There was some classes to learn how to ride, drive a car, which weren't that difficult. There was about two days of theory involved where we're sitting in the classroom. And after driving on the road with an instructor for about five or six times, I was eligible to go for my exam. And the exam only took about, wow, what was it, maybe five minutes in the car with the examiner. And that was it. I got my license. So that process was pretty easy here in Malaysia. But all in all, it is amazing to live here in Malaysia. The people are so friendly, the food is delicious, and the nature is just breathtaking. Terry Makasi Karana Menonton. Saya harap anda semua suka video ini. 
Tinggalkan komen dan pendapat Anda. Sila like dan subscribe. Jumpa lagi di minggu hadapan. Bye-bye. We'll see you next week. Jumpa lagi di hadapan Anda.